In this video, I want to break down how to create a lyric video in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, here's an example of a lyric video that I created. In this video, I want to just go over the basic idea, just kind of a beginner's guide to how to create lyric videos in Final Cut Pro 10. Because honestly, you can create some really cool lyric videos um, inside of Final Cut Pro 10. So in this video, I'll just give you a basic beginner's guide to creating lyric videos in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and just create a new project. So let's click on Command N, and we'll just call this Lyric Video right here. Now you can do whatever you want. You change the resolution, the format, whatever you want. I'm going to just leave it at 60 frames per second, or you know what, I'm going to change it like 30 frames per second. So you can see you can change the format to vertical, square, 4K. You can change the resolution to whatever you want, but a 1080p, um, 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second project is good enough, so let's click OK. And then as you can see, well, exact, I, I, never mind, it's already um, created. So let's just, you know, rename this. And let's just call this Lyric Video Example. So let's click on OK, and there you go. So now you have the project right here. So it's a 1080p 1920 by 1080 project at 30 frames per second. Again, you can do whatever you want, square, vertical, 4K, whatever you want. For this example, we'll just do a 1080p 30 frames per second project. Next, I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just create um, a gap clip. So click on option W and we'll just, you know, rename this to whatever or change the duration to, let's say, like um, two minutes. Now, again, you know, you say, like, why would I use the gap clip when I can just use the magnetic timeline? I would encourage you to use a gap clip because especially doing a lyric video, it's just much easier to use um, kind of like a non magnetic timeline because you have to line up the song and the lyrics. And if anything gets messed up, it's just really annoying to go back and fix it. So in my opinion, when you're doing a lyric video, I would encourage you to use a gap clip because I'll show you, you know, why. Why eventually you, you, you want to use a gap clip it's just a lot easier to line up the text and the actual um, song so the next thing you want to do is you want to download the song. Now, in most cases, you would have the client or, you know, the artist send you the download link to the song. But in this case, since I'm not editing for somebody, I'm just going to use a track from Epidemic Sound. So I'm going to go over here and show you the track that I used. So go over to download. As you can see right here, this is one the one that I used, a liar by soap and then featuring um, this artist. This is the song that I chose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just download the song. Um, again, you know, if this is, you know, a, a client video or something, the person would obviously send you um, the song. So the next thing you want to do is you obviously want to find the lyrics. So for example, I'm going to copy this song right here. I'll, I'll just go ahead. I'm just going to play it. Obviously, you won't hear it because it's uh, muted. So let's just copy and paste this song. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google. I'm going to paste it right here. And then I'm just going to type in lyrics. So again, obviously, if this was you know, a client, they would send the lyrics. But for this example, I'm going to go ahead and just look up the lyrics, as you can see right here. And then this is the song that we're going to use. So this is the, the lyrics. So let's go ahead and just copy um, the lyrics. So let's open the notes app, the Apple notes app. This is, in, I would encourage you the best place to use, um, if you're trying to create notes and you know, you're obviously using Apple. So let's go ahead and just create a new note and we'll just type in lyric right here or just lyrics. And then we'll just go ahead and paste, um, the lyrics right there. So there you go. We have the lyrics and then we have the song. So let's drag it out on the desktop and we're just going to exit, um, out of Chrome. So here is the section of the song that I'm going to be used. I think that's right, but if I, now I can fix it. So I have the lyrics and then as you can see right here, I have the song. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up Final Cut Pro, import the song and then just copy and paste the lyrics. Again, if you're working with a client or something, they're obviously going to have, you know, saying the song and saying the lyrics. But for this example, I'm just going to show you how to use it or you create lyric videos from a track um, on Epidemic Sound. So, you know, this is just, you know, this case, obviously it's going to be different um, depending on your situation. So what I'm going to do now is just import the song, so Command I, I'm just going to import and then here is the song. So let's just click on Import Selected. So you can see right here I just have the song. So let's go ahead and just import the song and I'll place it right underneath the gap clip. And then obviously I'm going to turn up the volume, hopefully you can hear this, you know, hopefully this is not too um, loud. But I'm going to go ahead and just play this, show, play this song, just kind of show you um, how to create this lyric video. So let's find a place in the song, you know, the, the lyric that I use, so let's open the notes app. So we're going to start with just hold me now while I hold you tight. So let's go ahead and just um, exit out until we find the part of the song. And I think this is where the song is. So I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, kind of you know, keep quiet and you just kind of listen to the song until we find um, the part that should be somewhere around here. So I'll go ahead and play it. Okay, so there is the start of the song. So let's go back somewhere along here and maybe we try, let's play a little bit of forward. So this is where I want to start. So let's just trim it and then we'll just exit out or minus out. 
and we're just going to place it right here and then we'll just you know, let's say we'll end it somewhere in here just for the sake of the video so there we go this is the section of the song so let's open up the notes app as you can see right here this is what it is right here so let's play the song um So there we go, there is a section of the song that we're going to be using. I'm only going to be doing like three um, texts. So let's head over here and just increase the waveform. So let's just increase the waveform just so it's a lot easier to find where the person starts singing. So let's scroll down and let's find the place. So it's, well, it starts off with just, so we'll find the spot where she says just. So I'll go ahead and play it. Hopefully, you know, this isn't too loud. Hopefully you can hear this um, clearly. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So, so let's see right here. So place a marker and we'll start here. Obviously it might not be perfect because I'm, you know, I'm going a little fast, but let's see how close it is. So that looks about right. So I'm going to do is go ahead and click on control T and just create a basic title. So let's head over here to the notes app and we'll just copy this section of the lyrics. So command C and we'll go to the text right here. We're just going to paste this and we're going to find us. We're going to find where, you know, she stopped saying that. So let's play it right here and see how long this is going to last on the screen. So she says, cause we're something right here. So something like this. So we'll go for me somewhere like this. Again, this might not be um, perfect. So let's see how this looks. So that looks about right. So let's trim um, the lyrics and we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this and again like you know It's definitely gonna be a little bit of trial and error Obviously depending on how fast um, the song is the faster the song obviously this is gonna take this is gonna be a lot harder Versus the song is a lot slow because it's definitely hard sometimes to find you know where the person stops speaking and where it's You know stop doesn't, doesn't start speaking so let's play right here and let's just see how close we got just for the sake of the tutorial So as you can see right here, that looks pretty good. Uh, I think you're just for right now. So let's find the next part in the song, you know where she stops, so. So let's find the place in the song, you know, where she says the next um, lyric. So somewhere here. So let's place a marker, let's see how close we got. So that looks pretty good. Again, this is, you know, I'm going a little quick. Obviously, you know, put a little more time and effort into it, but I think so far it's pretty well synced up. So let's head over here. We'll just copy and paste this, um, but I swear. So let's just paste the text and then we'll just place it on right here. So let's just see how close we got. So as you can see, they did a pretty good job. This might want to be shifted over a couple more frames, but again, just for the sake of the tutorial, uh, we'll just leave it how it is. So as you can see right there, it, that's going to take a very long time, as you can see, to really go through um, and kind of line up the text with the music. It's definitely going to take, you know, a little bit of time. So it's a little bit of trial and error. I think just for the sake of the tutorial, I think that's good. This text might want to be shifted over again a couple frames, but just for the, uh, the sake of the tutorial, we'll just leave it how it is. Now the next thing you want to do is obviously customize the text and you can actually go ahead and import um, your own custom font into the font books. In this case, I just used a text um, from Envato Elements. So all you would do is you just, you just import the, I think it's called like the TTF file into um, the font book on your MacBook. And I have a screen recording on right now so you can see you know how I did it. So you just basically want to take that font, download it from Envato Elements, the font or whatever you download fonts, and then you put it into the font book in your, um, in the, the uh, app on your uh, MacBook or iMac, whatever you have, and you can actually just import your own custom font. So as you can see, the screen recording is going right now and just show you know how to actually um, you know do that, which is really cool. You can actually import your own fonts. So let's scroll down right here. And I think the one that I used was called the Joker. So as you can see right here, here it is. We just call it um, the Joker. So let's go right here, go over to font and let's scroll all the way down. Again, you can use whatever you want. So the Joker and let's click right here, go to font, scroll all the way down. 
um, until you find the Joker. So there we go. There's the Joker. So that should look pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just mute it right now. So you see right here, now you have these really cool um, custom fonts. Uh, right there so let's go ahead and just click on the font right here and maybe we want to just split it right here and let's just maybe increase it go to the show horizon just in case you want to center the text a little bit more so there we go we just center the text now let's head over here and go and then let's just maybe just scroll this up to like you know a hundred uh, that looks pretty good so let's just scroll down again this is a lot of you know customizing figure what you want so again that you probably look a little too small so let's just increase the size and we're just gonna go ahead and drag it down this again is a lot of trial and error so there we go I think that looks pretty good again just for the sake of the tutorial I'm definitely you know going a little um, quick because you know I don't want to you know sit here for like 50 minutes but I just want to kind of give you the basic overview so you can see right there now you have some really cool text on the screen with some really cool custom fonts so go ahead go through re reposition it resize it customize it use your own custom fonts whatever you want to do it's all up to you now another really cool part of the music video is obviously having some cool elements or a really cool um, background so let's take this these really cool backgrounds now all these assets that I use I didn't unfortunately you know create them myself I actually got all these assets um, from Cinepax so if you want to find some really cool assets definitely use Cinepax again I'm not just gonna make this video sponsored you can do whatever you want you know whatever background you want so we'll just have you know this background actually you know, honestly that doesn't really quite match that well so maybe let's try like sand see if that looks okay obviously you you know you look at your text you know you don't, you don't want to like you know blend into the text too much so you can see right here that is a really cool um, background so we'll scroll down and we have this really cool kind of like you know leaf background so you can go through and adjust it until you get your liking or until it you know, looks how you want so there you go now you have um, a really cool um, background a leaf background so I'm gonna go ahead and just copy it and just, I'll just paste a little extra right here just so it fills so it you know, completely fills um, the screen so there we go now you have a really cool um, background so let's say maybe you want to add a couple different assets so you have this really cool kind of like cactus tree so let's place it on the clip and let's just you know trim right here again it will be perfect so let's take it maybe scale it down a little bit take the position and then we'll just move it move the tree right down you know right here I think that looks pretty cool obviously you know, again go through until you get the look that you want anytime you're doing text or objects if you really want to you know have depth between the four between the actual you know text or object and you know depth between the background I would encourage you to use the drop shadow effect I've made tons of videos you know showing this effect but as you can see right here now you have a really cool drop shadow you can add that to the text or whatever you want the reason you want to do that is it be it creates depth between the object and the background you can see right there it just creates a lot more um, depth what you want to do next is you want to select all your assets you want to go ahead and just click on option W and we'll just call this um, background if you want it's really important you create a compound clip because you want all the text to be on the exact um, same level now you may ask yourself okay how do I get the text to animate or how did you have the text animating on screen so you can see well, that looks pretty cool but you know wonder okay, how do I get the text um, to actual animate uh, to actually animate well if you didn't know this you can actually add transitions um, to your titles so let's go over here and we're just going to use the rotation of um, free transitions all these transitions are from Ryan Nagel so let's go ahead and just place a transition as you can see right here you can place it right onto the text so let's go ahead and just add this 30 transition and there you go just put it right on the text now if you're wondering you know like i said before you actually can get some really cool transitions from ryan nagel apple has its own you know custom ones you can create your own um your own emotion i'll put the link down in the description below for ryan nagel but i have tons of really cool free transitions you know that he makes all those different you know, plugin packs so definitely go ahead and check out his website so let's just decrease the timeline so if you didn't know you can actually add transitions to text so there you go now you have the text animating so if i play it right here so let's see how it looks as you can see right there the text animates on and off screen so just in case you want to you want you know, wonder how do I animate text for my lyrics videos you can actually just use custom um, transitions so let's just zoom out right here and I'll just turn up the volume so you can kind of hear what's going on so let's go ahead and play it right here and just you know see how the you know brief you know like just basic edit we did obviously put a lot, a lot more time and effort into it but here's you know a quick little lyric video
So as you can see right here, that was a you know, very basic, very simple lyric video, but I think it definitely gets the, you know, the, the point across. So hopefully with all these tips and tricks, you're able to create your own lyric video. Hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions or I missed something, go ahead and leave it down in the comments below and I'll try to answer your questions. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, I have a playlist with over 290 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more videos um, like this, then definitely go ahead and check out that playlist where I have a whole bunch of really cool videos or Final Cut Pro 10 um, tutorials in that playlist. So definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.